Hemoglobin carries most oxygen in the blood. And there's a small amount of oxygen that's dissolved directly in the blood. Because oxygen is insoluble in the blood, it has to be carried by something. So it's carried by hemoglobin. And hemoglobin are proteins within the red blood cells, and each unit of hemoglobin carries about four units of oxygen. Hemoglobin, when it's saturated with oxygen, gives a red color. Hemoglobin, when it's desaturated, gives a more purple color. If you went hypoxic, your lips will go purple. That's because the hemoglobin has released oxygen and because the hemoglobin is not carrying oxygen. This little pulse oximeter has got an infrared light inside in it. You put your nail against the red light. The color of hemoglobin that's saturated with oxygen, this is picking up on. So basically the red light is to detect if your hemoglobin is saturated or desaturated. Does that make sense? Normal is 95 to 99%. That's normal. Now my point here is, by the way, if you have your pulse oximeter, the top breathing is the SpO2. That's the saturation of your peripheral arteries with oxygen. The lower breathing is your pulse rate. So don't worry too much about your pulse at this point. It's mainly the SpO2. My point here about big breathing is, you're all breathing usually and normally now. Your blood oxygen saturation is going to be almost fully saturated. Normal breathing, how fully loaded are the hemoglobin with oxygen, they're almost fully saturated. If I started taking, telling you to take big breaths, you can't add any more oxygen to the hemoglobin. Does that make sense? The whole usefulness of taking big breaths, filling your lungs full of air, is counterproductive. The harder you breathe, you don't bring any more oxygen in. Yes, you will increase the amount of oxygen dissolved in the blood by a little amount, but you won't increase the SpO2, which is the main carrier of oxygen.